Hey guys, guess what? It's me, Noble. Well, I got another experiment I'm doing. I haven't done it before, never tried it. I've seen it in books, and I've seen some videos, and I've seen it when I was a kid. Some of you guys may know what it is, but I'm trying this out. And that's but it, it's not fancy or whatever. Don't mind what the noise in the background, but I'll show you what we're doing. See? I think you guys know what that is. I'm trying this out, and I want to see what it, how it is. I see what will look underneath. Yeah, there's not very many, but that's what I'm using. But I'm hoping that works. And that's it. I had uh, 2:45, so I'm gonna see how long it takes. It. The fire's getting a little real good at it right now, but I know it's not going off because the wind's blowing. But that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you guys after I find out what's going on. See ya. Hey guys, I'm back. Well, I'm gonna get, like I said, I was gonna give you an update. Um, yeah, that right there. I had to cut it down a little bit to shorten it down. Um, it's been about over an hour and ten minutes and stuff. It's drying out. It's working. I'm so amazed about it. So amazed. <laughs> I know I'm not out in the bushcraft here. I'm out in my parents' yard and out there. But hey, something I want to try. So I recommend encourage you guys to do it. Do some research on it first before you even try it. I never done this. That's what I did. And so, so um, I'm waiting to see how that's gonna turn out. Keep the fire low and minimum. And that and I'm using a uh, 5x6 or a 5x8 tarp or a 6x8 tarp. I think it's a 6x8 tarp, yep. And uh, I think it's 6x8, I don't know. But um, try to keep the plastic off the flame, but I do have it probably about maybe about two, two and a half foot off the ground of the tarp. Yeah, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, it's about almost two and a half. Just over two and a half foot, and that's it. Um, yeah, don't worry about the metal ring. This is just something that my parents have in their yard. But yeah, it goes all the way up. There, yeah, I not really good at this here. Like I said, I, the tripod part. Just make a tripod. So that will be it. I will get back to you and uh, find out when they get done, and then you can watch me try it out. So, stick around. Hey, guy. I don't even know what time it is, but what I'm finding out, it worked pretty good. I'll show you. I only did a few in there. So I didn't want to do a whole lot back of it, but I know I, I got to figure out something a little bit better, but it worked pretty good and good. I, I recommend you guys to try this out in there, too. If you guys haven't, try it out. You might have something a little bit better than what I did with the tarp here, but it worked good. And uh, this is all like it, it's bushcraft. They've been doing it for a hundred years in that there, back in the day before they have all this. So that's, that's all how they do it. With the tripod, they use uh, deer hide, bear hide, elk hide, buffalo hide. But I did use the tarp and some sticks and some little strings. Worked pretty good. It looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, even my dad said it was awesome. And like I said. Me. Yeah, sir, and uh. <laughs> Yeah, the kids like it too, but like I always say, be safe, be prepared, be alert. Like I always say, go camping! See you guys. See ya! Yeah. Alright guys. Mmm. I'm telling you. I have to show you. Jerky. That I did. Yeah, it's real good. Turned out real good. I use my own stuff at home. I don't buy those pre-made seeds and stuff. Yeah, so I recommend you guys to try it. And I also, I buy a roast and I slice it up myself. Yeah, but that is real good. And again, if you like, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment and share this video. And out there, that helped me out. I'm always trying to figure out some more stuff to do in that here, so 
stick around for a next time video with Noble Archive. See you guys.